Hello everyone, hope we're all good. Big shout out to everyone who likes, shares, comments and subscribes. Been a bit of a tough week here in Liverpool. We've had three shootings, a young lad at 22, a young girl at 28 and a baby of nine years old. We've also had a stabbing of a young woman in Kirby. This is all happened in the span of one week. I shudder to think, you know, you know, what's out there for our kids these days. People have been asking me, what can we do? What's the what's the solution? What's the answer? You know, I'm involved in an initiative which is helping young kids seek a little bit of guidance and positive pathways. You know, building that rapport and that trust with them and, and sharing a bit of lived experience. That's as good as it gets with me. I'm not easy to tell people what they can do and what they can't do. You know, I can only share my you know, my consequences, my lived experience. I know that they, they get something from that. You know, there isn't an answer. You know, what 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 can we do? There's a, a you know, with the police, there's a there's a nose and them within every city, within every country. That superior, inferior model of there's there's no trust with the police these days. You know, young lads or young women, young girls, whatever, they're not gonna trust the police when you come and talk to them in schools or offer interventions because I never once trusted you know a police officer you know, I've been arrested I'll tell you a little story years ago right okay I was I was I was living that lifestyle of criminality due to an addiction with with heroin and crack cocaine most of my criminal activities were we're down to fund a, a drug app, but they weren't to fund a lifestyle, far from it. I wasn't um, financially trying to make a living out of being a villain. I was trying to survive and use on a daily basis. That's how it was for me. You know, I remember getting pulled up by the OSD, Operation Support Division, a few times. You know, one time, I'm sitting outside a drug service in Maryland Street, just off Oak Street in Liverpool. I'm waiting for the um, key worker. I think that's what they were called back then. Counselors, support workers, I can't remember. They just gave me a prescription. Had a little chat with me, asked me how I was, anything I needed, and sent me on my way. But I'm sitting outside this, this drug service, waiting to be seen. An unmarked police car pulls up. Straight away, I'm on it. They jumped out, they came over to me, searched me, asked me name. Next thing, they pulled out a screwdriver. I said, which one do you want, the black one or the red one? Black handle, red handle, you choose. I said, what are you going on about? He said, you've just been interfering with that car. I said, no, we haven't. I'm waiting for me. The prescription of these, the, the service. No, get in the back of the car, you're nicked. So they arrested me for interfering with a motor vehicle. Yeah, it wasn't true. I never, I never attempted any kind of criminal activity at that present time back then and i was taken to cheap side the main bridal and i'm in a bad way i've got no drugs they're telling me to just admit it and they'll release me i said okay i put my hands up said it was me got a charge sheet of interfering with a motor vehicle and that was that was that that's on my pre-cons now something i never did there was another time when i was pulled up again by the osd got me in the back of the car there's two in the front two in the back i'm in the middle i'm getting twisted now anyone who knows what it's like to be twisted up and your wrist are bent back you know it's painful and i'm screaming they've got me in the back so twisting me up and i'm a young kid i'm 17 years old i'm screaming please stop it let go he said, who's doing all the graft? Who's doing all the robberies? Who's doing all the bags? Who's selling all the drugs? I don't know nothing. I'm just an addict. All I know is where to score and who to score off. That's about as good as you get from me. So I'm saying, I don't know, I don't know, I've got no idea. Right, so, they're not having it. They take me to Newsham Park. Yeah, this is about 19... About 1990, 1991. Take me to Newsham Park. I'm not going to mention his name, but one of the, the OSD officers jumps out the car, goes to the back of it, opens the boot. He 
comes back with a towel, gets back in the, the back seat, sitting next to me, unravels this towel and pulls out this big weapon. This big, dirty Harry Schmidt and Wesson. And then he puts it in my mouth. I swear on my mother's life, he sticks it in my mouth. Yeah, I'm not lying. And says to me, who's doing all the graft? I'm horrified, I'm terrified, I'm thinking, what the, what, what the, what's going on here? Bang! And that's what he shot, bang! I'm thinking, oh, this, 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 is, this is crazy, this, this is round the bend, this. You know, I'm, I'm crying, I'm sobbing, I'm like, what's going on? I'm just getting twisted up again. I put the, the piece back in, in the towel, it goes back in the boot. Check me for warrants, unwanted. Yeah, unwanted. Goes to... Uh, Newsham Park Police Station ends up in the shells there, gets a charge again. Goes to court. That's what it was like back then with the police. So I had no trust. There was loads of occasions like that. I've been to, to the Bridewell in, in, in Liverpool, a cheap side. I've been beaten, beaten, battered, and bounced off by these busies. They've just thrown mattresses on top of you and punch your head in and jump all over you, being kicked all over the gaff. There's loads of episodes of, of like that authority, like anti-authority kind of behaviour for me. You know, it's only, it took years to understand that I was the problem. I was creating my own consequences. If I hadn't been involved in that lifestyle and, and that way of living and, and being a criminal of sorts due to an addiction, then I wouldn't be in them situations because look, now I'm almost five years clean. I haven't been stop, stopped by the police once. There's no reason to stop me. You know, if I ever, I mean, mum hasn't had a, a door kicked in. There's not people smashing the windows or screaming, where's your Billy? You know, I'm not living unmanageable. I'm not walking the streets early hours in the morning, avoiding people. I'm not skint to a point where I'm asking my ma, you know, for a bit of food. You know, I'm pleading for a father. It, it's so that's the solution for me, right? Is it's to stop thinking and just look at where my life was going. Now, with all the stuff that's going on these days, you know, we all know whoever's got a bit of beef with whoever, it is what it is. It all stems from drugs, gangs, county lines, you know, and um. Ego, pride, and post-Cold Wars. Simple as. People are getting taken out for absolutely nothing. Women and children are becoming collateral damage. We're living in a lawless society. People are afraid to go out and enjoy themselves. You know, because every news report that you're in now is there's a stabbing, there's a shooting. You know, there's a, there's a, there's an assault. It's it's quite sad, and that's you know. I'm, someone was giving me an hard time the other day, saying, "How can you act outraged?" I'm not outraged. I'm not outraged. I'm I'm sad. I'm saddened by the fact that collectively, as a community, we're losing our morals and values, and we have done for a long time. To these people on the streets, who are walking around carrying, you know, pieces and getting away with it. Because they haven't got the balls to have a fight, a straightener, or a one-to-one. -one. That, that's gone. No one's ever going to have a straightener ever again. You know that, and I know that. Straighteners are out the window. You might get a few YouTube straighteners, you know, for a few views or a pay-per-view. That's, you know, that's, we all love, love a little bit of drama. You know, that's two men, two women, whoever, having a fight. I'm shaking hands at the end of it and we're walking on. No, they'll never be straighteners. No one will ever have a straightener again. Simple as. Even when you go to the shovel, you're in jail. It's slashing, stabbings. You know, people are getting cut off for, for spice like there's no tomorrow. People are getting cut off for nothing. People are cutting themselves up, setting fire to the shells. You know, we do live in a... In a, in a I'm not trying to... I'm just saying it how it is, really. So, yeah, there's been that difficult relationship for years with the police show it now police are like saying you know whose side are you on 
And I, I think the villains are probably saying, who side are you on? Because it's red hot out there at the moment. And the response are all over the gaff. It's always you get and where's dry off. You know, it's... Um, what's going to happen next? Seriously, what, what, what are we... What are we... What are we in for here? And all I can say to, to people out there is if... If you've got a conscience... And you've done something... That you regret, it'll eat your life for years. Your conscience will take you to hell, simple as. That's that's what's going to happen. You know, sit on your own with your conscience, and that's judgment enough. You know, the nightmares that you love will go on for years. You live in your own hell. There's no way you can sleep at night knowing what you've done. Trying to get some acceptance around it because it's 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 impossible unless you, your brain's damaged. That's the truth. So, you know, what can I say? You know, if you do the right thing, people make a difference. Parents speak to your kids after that relationship growing up. There's a lot missing. You know, with our with our young kids these days. You know, the trust, the love, the care, the listening. The communication, the guidance, the role models. People say, oh, we can get you clubs worth four to, to have a, a hub full of like young kids you can collectively get together, smoke stars or whatever they're doing and, and talk about whoop, Robin, County Lines, Givenchy, Montclair, what can we get? How are we going to get it? You know, and I believe in um, stability. So if you come to us, We'll help you. Yeah, we'll we'll educate you. We'll build up your self esteem. Get you involved in a, in a few gym sessions. Get you guaranteed employment at the end of it, and have ongoing aftercare. Because I think people there's enough charities out there that just take liberties with people. They just want to get funding, put bums on seats. We'll do a CSCS card, get you a job, and then kick you out. And and what happens when you get paid? Right, what happens? Right. If you've gone through all that trauma, you get a job and then you get your first wages. But during that week, you've had a, a relationship breakdown. You've had an argument with your mate. Your mum's kicked you out. You're not getting on with uh, you know, your, your fellow man in work. And then you get your wages and you blow it on the Charlie, on the ale. You're back out there. You're in the grip. You feel all that shame and all that guilt. You don't want to come back to work you know, after the weekend. So where are you to? Well, I am. Don't know about anyone else. Um, I can only speak for myself at the minute. I'm here to sit down and chat with someone and, you know, and share that experience and share how you can get through it without having to, to go down that, that pathway and suffer those consequences. And if you can help one person, then that's enough. It's enough for me to go out there and help millions of people, you know, become all grandiose because my agenda wouldn't be right just help that one person there's a ripple effect that one person will change 5, 10, 15 people's lives yeah that's that's the suit and then that'll go on that'll permeate within the community you know let's build up an, a, a love and care and strong community of um, people but yeah Thanks for watching. Put a little clip of our Joey on now. I've just been with him before. He's in a better mood, like I said. So thanks. Take care. People are being asking loads of questions about you. Yeah. How is he? How's your Joe? Good. You good? Yeah. He's a lot better. He's here in the garden, in the sun. He's going back to his clubs, aren't you? Mm. Yeah, so I'm gonna put this on a little clip for for the people to 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 watch and see how you're getting on. You wanna tell them how you, you're feeling? I've been great now. What's been going on for you? Tell them. I've been poorly. Is that like physically or mentally or? No, no. You can't put your finger on it? No. And that's okay. If it's okay not to be okay. And people know that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But people want want you to, to know that they love you and they support you. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Good. Do you feel, do you feel loved? Loved. Do you feel cared for? Yeah. 
Do people let on to you? Yeah. But it's about, isn't it? It's kind to be kind. It's nice to be nice. Right, so there you are. Oh, yeah. Thanks for everyone who um, congratulated me on my engagement. Who's here? None other than the best man. The ring bearer. Hey. The sh getting shooted and booted, aren't we? Yeah. Thanks, mate. Man. Wouldn't want it any other way. So I'm going to sign off, just so you know he's okay. Yeah. Come on, you blues. Come on, the blues.